And so we reach out now to the Great Spirit, that infinite ocean of consciousness, and we give thanks that we have this blessed opportunity to gather together amidst the emanations of this infinite one as it showers its love and its encouragement and its inspiration upon us for the Sivanings activities. We also ask uh, that uh, those who come on behalf of the Great Spirit, who project their consciousness from the higher uh, realms of life, we ask that they join with us tonight, for each one here is most assuredly well endowed with friends in the higher realm not the least of whom is the guardian who seeks to guide your footsteps with great care to allow and facilitate the best possible use of your time here in your physical world. So on behalf of all who have already gathered here, Many have been here long before you arrived, preparing the energies in this space. On behalf of all of those, we extend to you a very warm welcome, for we understand it is perhaps a little cool in your world tonight, and we would bring this divine warmth into your being to nurture, to encourage, and to facilitate the best use of these opportunities. Thank you. Good evening. As you would well be aware, this evening has been facilitated in order to provide an opportunity for those with a questioning mind to make their questions known, to share their inquiries with the others gathered in our midst. And we shall do our best to provide answers to your I've questions. That, uh, when we come to Earth, we come, we come to fulfill a contract. Is it possible? possible to find out what the contract is and what happens if we don't fulfill it? Thank you. Another excellent question. Your life, as it were, that you find yourself living at the moment was planned in some considerable detail prior to your entering your mother's womb at the moment of conception. The plan was to undertake various challenges, to travel down various avenues of life in order to facilitate experiments in consciousness that are conducive to the next step in your own spiritual evolution. This is often referred to as your divine mission. How? You might ask, are you to know about your divine mission? Through your conscience. It is your conscience that is the inner voice of that higher consciousness that is ever present and very much influenced by the guardian spirit whose job it is to assist you in remaining on your karmic path through this specific journey. You will find yourself being drawn to numerous crossroads in your life, as you no doubt already have. And when you reach those crossroads, there is some confusion sometimes as to which alternative, which direction to take. The confusion usually arises 
as a result of an analytical mind. The mind has a vastly superior talent for introducing confusion. If you wish to avoid confusion, work then with the intuitive level of guidance. You will find this coming through your own divine center. These are heartfelt levels of guidance, experienced within your own center, often referred to as a gut feeling. If you quieten the mind and diminish its abilities for confusion, then this intuitive level of guidance becomes apparent with greater clarity. Now, with regard to the second part of your question, what happens if you fail to meet the criteria that you have undertaken? This often happens. It is not uncommon for individuals to be somewhat ambitious in their undertaking and despite the often cautioning of the guardian spirit advising not to take on too much in this particular journey, some will still disregard the advice and immerse themselves into so much so soon that they find their energies dissipated, spread too far, too thin, in order to be successful. Some are also lured into entrapments of the physical nature that serve then to disempower. Addictions to alcohol and narcotic substances, addictions to habitual tendencies, looking for levels of escape from that which you have taken on as a responsibility to yourself. All of these things can cause an individual to become less successful in accomplishing that which they have set out to do. As such, there are immense levels of disappointment on returning to the higher realm. There is often a great deal of remorse that is experienced by the individual. And this, once again, like everything else, serves a divine purpose. Remorse is there to sharpen the willpower to overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of success. Often an individual can empower themselves with a greater depth of will by immersing themselves into vibrations of consciousness that are conducive to raising the willpower, which, as you might well imagine, comes from the spirit itself. It is a divine energy and it is freed and given an unleashment into greater application as an individual chooses a more spiritual pathway through life. The more spiritual, the more the act of love, unconditional love, expresses itself in the life of that individual, the greater the depth of willpower that will be available to them in order to succeed in the missions that they have undertaken. Does this answer your question? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.